beautiful day. And what a beautiful day is right. We just got back from Home Depot. We went, uh, oh, I don't know, 14 times already this morning. Uh, so we are going to make some lunch because it's about one o'clock and start working on the subfloor. We had a little bit of an issue trying to find the metric bolts for the, it seems like an American car, but it's actually a European car. So we had to use metric bolts to lay it down the subfloor. So we will keep you posted. So like I was saying, with a subfloor, we're gonna to try to use the existing holes, which means we needed to find bolts, metric bolts that threaded into those existing holes. Helping us today is our buddy Nick. Hello. 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 And uh, Ivy, of course. And these last two bolts are giving are giving us a bit of trouble. It seems that they're like painted on, or I don't know. We're working on it uh, from both from both sides here, so we will we will let you know. But otherwise, we got all these bolts out. We got the right bolts at both Home Depot and in McQuaid's hardware store. We'll keep you posted. So here, let's take you under the uh, under the hood here a little bit oh, under the chassis. Anyway, I'll show you what we're looking at. You see that nut right there? There, right there. That is potentially bolted on to, or welded on, excuse me, to the chassis or the uh, or the bolt itself. So we're having a real hard time getting it off. So it's been a while now, and we're still having problems. We think potentially that nut is welded underneath, but look at that handsome man getting getting it done, getting down and dirty for the van. Okay, so we're still stuck. So the plan. We don't have the tools. We don't have any of the any of the things, any of the, the power that I think we need. So the plan is to go see the pros. Speaking of pros, oh my God, who is that? With lunch? Lunch. Get out of here. We got some salad. Amazing. All right, so we're gonna go see the pros after lunch. So Mart, there have been some uh, there have been some updates since. What's going uh, on? Talk since, to me. So there is a couple of bolts that we can't get out in order to install the sub floor. Uh -oh. So we're gonna go to a tire place and we're going to see if they have like a pneumatic drill thing that we can either like throw out the bolt or, or I don't even know. So oh. it's a little bit complicated. Fun, yeah. what's a big project without a little complication? Yeah, well, you yeah. know. For those of you who are interested in what we're gonna actually have for lunch, this is a, a thing that people do in these videos, apparently. Martha and I are strictly keto. What do you know? A couple of van people with some dietary restrictions. So we have steak, kale, asparagus, pickles. What else we got in here, Martha? Um, radishes, cucumbers, and the dressing is um, kind of made from the pickle juice and olive oil, so it's got very like dill pickle forward. Cool flavor. Absolutely. Also, no meal complete without granny squibs. I'm doing the Sally's Lemon uh, unsweetened here. Martha's going mojito lime. We're big squibs people. Have to be. Yeah, dude. Okay, so we're back from the mechanics that, uh, well, it's like a tire place we went to. They couldn't help us. I think that bolt is welded in there. So, we're going to try something else. We ran to Home Depot for the third time today and we are going to try this little thing here basically you use this end here to uh to drill the top of the bolt out and this thing uh this guy here it threads deeper into the bolt as you put the drill in verse so that should take out uh the bolt in question over here and over there Okay, now, like the thing says. Dude, this shit is not coming out. And it, I think, just destroyed this bit. It's not backing up. It's not catching. All right, that didn't work. I'm not sure about this product, frankly. You can see here, we, this is the bit we used. It just totally wore it down. Didn't even make a dent. I don't know what this thing is made out of. It's kind of ridiculous. You know things have gotten desperate when we bring out the angle grinder. Oh my god, there it is. Alright, so that was successful in that we actually got it done. It is on there in such a way. Same with this one. 
that. We're not going to do that again. We're just going to cut a we're going to cut a hole in the subfloor. Um, this eventually is where either water tanks or propane tank is going to go. So hey, we're going to make lemons out of lemonade here and just incorporate that into the build. And then maybe, 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 just maybe, we can actually like lay down the insulation and get the subfloor started. Holy moly. It's like four o'clock. We've been working on this like all day. We're going to move on. Uh, we are going to lay down this duct insulation. Um, we got four rolls, so we're going to see how long that lasts us. Should be pretty good. Uh, but we are going to also move the van. The van's down here now. It's, it's nicer down here. We are going to put this in, and we are going to try to make a little progress on this damn floor today. So stay tuned. Pretty good. What do you think? Tool for the job. Oh, totally. Yeah, the uh, the baseball bat or the the wiffle ball bat really, really comes in handy. It gets in the corners there. It gets in the corners and it's nice and round. It's not going to tear this stuff. So it's about halfway done. We're going to need more rolls of this stuff. Four was not enough, especially if we're going to do the whole van. Okay, so we're oops, a little straighter out there. There we go. So we're almost done with the uh, floor insulation. It's we've had a couple of delays, but look who it is. There Hi. she is. What are you working on, Mark? Uh, I'm getting started setting up the templates for the subfloor. So right now I'm thinking of doing it. We're just doing brown paper templates. Um, we'll see how that goes. And I'm setting it up in four foot sections to align with the width of the plywood we got. See how it goes? Cool. Also, I spy a little doggy. All right, Mar Mar, what do you say? We, we, are we calling it a night? How'd, yeah. that, how'd the template thing work out? The brown paper is really annoying. It's too floppy, it's too curly, and I can't get things square into the corners so that I actually know it's going to fit because the paper isn't a strong enough material. So I'm going to start first thing on that tomorrow. Yeah. All right, people, vlog incoming. So we're calling it a night. Thank you guys for helping. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Didn't really do anything. Well, you are you are gonna do something. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, you are gonna do something soon. But thanks for uh, thanks for sacrificing life and limb today. Glad to take out the angle binder. And this is kind of where we're at. We got the uh, we got the duct insulation over everything. Just don't mind some of those weird lines there. This stuff is gonna be great for both insulation and soundproofing. So I can already hear it. We yeah. weren't gonna put it all over the walls. We are now. So we're gonna do, start first thing tomorrow and finish the subfloor. Maybe even put up some insulation. We'll see. All right. Say bye, Mark. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. Nat and I are getting back into the van build after taking a couple weeks off to take care of some life stuff, take care of some business stuff. We co-own a graphic design and branding studio. So that has really taken priority the last couple weeks. And now we are getting back into the van build. How are you feeling today? Feeling good. Feeling good. I'm excited to like get back, get back into it. It's been like a little bit of a crazy few weeks and we haven't really been able to focus on the van as much as we should have. There's like little annoyances that are like getting at me. This tape isn't very sticky. I think we cheaped out on tape. So shame on you, Nashua Tape Company, a trusted tape product. I think not. But yeah, no, we're, I'm excited to get the templates done. I'm excited to get the subfloor installed. We're doing this today. I'm, I'm looking forward to like getting some actual measurable progress done. So that's where I'm gonna leave you for today. I still have a few more client projects that I need to do for a couple hours. So Nat's gonna take priority on doing that first layer of insulation and then hopefully I can loop back with him by the time we're ready to do the subfloor. What's up guys? 
That's what people say in these videos, right? What's up guys? What we're gonna work on today is the template for the subfloor. That's a one man job. Uh, Mark's gonna go work on some stuff that I should probably work on too, but I'm gonna, we're gonna divide and conquer here a little bit. The subfloor has to fit into all these little nooks and crannies. Here's a problem area. Here's a problem area. Woo, template's finally done. That was a little bit of a slog. Hey. There's really no good way of uh, making the template, um, although I did, I used like a trick that I saw on the internet that I haven't seen that many people do, um, at least in the van, in van build series, series. We also realized we didn't need to, you know, cover the whole thing, but it just was kind of easier just to make this patchwork. Marth did the back, uh, I did the front, and I actually want to show you guys a pretty cool trick that we did to get kind of those weirdo van curves uh, done, and we'll probably employ it for other parts of the van as well. All right, so what we did here, uh, is I took this piece of scrap wood, it was just kicking around the studio, and I cut a half inch hole in the center of it, just big enough for a Sharpie. And what essentially we've created is kind of like a scribe. It's going to butt up against the metal here and then create an exact profile of the van wall here. So I'll show you guys how that works. You take the piece of wood, you butt it up against whatever you're, whatever you're trying, to, trying to trace. In this case, it's the van profile. And use one thing, Follow the van very carefully. And you get all these weird curves. And what you're left with is a line you want to cut out. Next thing to do is to take our pieces of plywood. Uh, we got some three quarter inch plywood that actually has a treatment on the top that's like weather and water resistant, which we thought was like pretty cool. We're going to take our three pieces of plywood, their tongue and groove, we're going to lock them together and we're going to place our template over the top and trace it out. All right, we very delicately took the template out of the van. Everything's kind of taped together very meticulously. And now we've laid it out on our plywood that's gonna be uh, our subfloor. You can see this stuff has a little bit of a coating on it. It's supposed to be waterproof and really good for adhering to laminates and uh, stuff. But yeah, Martha's gonna go around and kind of shore up some of these edges. It really does take up three of these four by eight pieces of plywood. It's actually, it's pretty amazing. Like once it gets out of the van and once you actually are standing out in space with it, it's pretty wild. It's funny seeing it uh, flat like this outside of the van, it actually feels a lot smaller. It feels small. All right, that line's done. But let's start cutting some stuff, huh? Let's cut some stuff. <laughs> So Nat has the jigsaw set up right over here. So I'm gonna go over and A, film him, and B, kind of be a, be a support staff on catching the, the extra pieces. First cut. First cut. First cut. Bye. First bit of subfloor is done. Let's take a look. Pretty good. You know, it's not gonna be perfect as Martha keeps reminding me when I get frustrated. You know, we're all learning our limitations today. My limitations apparently are cutting a straight line with a jigsaw, but I feel like that'd be a little bit hard for anyone. We are losing light a little bit. We cut the second piece and it still requires a little bit of, a little bit of jiggling. Um, you can see like what we're talking about here with these lines, you know, they are, uh, they're they're fairly complex. I mean, we decided we decided that we would try to match every contour. That's potentially causing a few problems. It just got like really cloudy. Oh, we're not gonna get rain. We can't do this project in the rain. Also, for whatever it's worth, Martha has totally kicked me off the uh, off the orbital sander. Subfloor piece number two. Installed. Almost there, people. Okay, last piece is installed. Check it out. And with that final piece, we have the subfloor. Woo! 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 Uh, yeah, that was a little bit harder than uh, than we thought it was. Uh, we still have a couple of areas, like right down here. I'm gonna kind of shave that down a little bit. But look at that fit. Oh my goodness. The temple and tracing trip trick. Trick? Trip. Either one. The template and tracing trick uh, works pretty well. I will say, and Marth, you can speak to this too, don't go too crazy trying to get it as accurate as possible. 
Yeah, um, the way I did a lot of the lines for the template, I really got into a lot of the really small details, like where a weld is really big, for example, on one of these kind of like big sidebars. And in retrospect, I, I think we should have probably just straightened out those lines and made them a lot more square rather than trying to follow the little, the little bits of movement along the wall. Okay, so that'll do it for us today. Uh, that was a hard day of work. Doing the template and getting the subfloor all installed was a lot. It's not that the job is necessarily that technical, but there were a lot of steps. But yeah, so I hope this was a little bit informative. I know that like when I was watching these videos, this video is probably a little long, but, uh, but it was super helpful to watch all the steps. So if you like it, subscribe to it, like it on YouTube, uh, and keep an eye out for our next video. It's probably gonna be mostly about uh, insulation, which is another thing we don't know too much about, so. But we're learning. We are learning. It is an iterative process. What do you need to say? <laughs> you just took my word. <laughs> <laughs> I learned the word iterative uh, today. <laughs> and uh, look it up. It is that. We will see you guys in the next video. Yep. Bye. Whoop.